including video in your classroom instruction, offers numerous benefits to both teachers and students. These include time saved introducing new topics, as well as the ability for teachers to build authentic relationships with students and parents. Video is also proven to have solid results when it comes to learning outcomes, from higher test scores, to increased engagement with learning material, to increased comprehension. Adding video is one of the best ways to get and keep students engaged. But if you're like me, creating video is not always the easiest thing to do. Besides it being awkward seeing yourself on screen, it takes so much time filming, then editing the video to get it just right. While there's no substitute for practice, there are a few tips that I use and have found helpful when creating videos like this one. Number one, create a script. Scripts can be your best friend when it comes to recording videos of any length. With a script, you'll know exactly what to say and when to say it. You won't have to worry about forgetting important points, rambling on, or keeping pace in your video. Number two, find a quiet place to record. Pick a room where you can be alone, without any pets or people disturbing you. Also, carpeted rooms are best for reducing echoes. Number three, get the best audio possible. Invest in a good microphone so your voice is clear in your videos. The microphone on your computer or phone is fine, but if you want to upgrade your audio, I added some links in the description of this video for a few microphones that sell for under $20. Number four, Find a tool you like. There are many free and paid tools teachers can use to create their videos. Some enable you to add scripts, images, shapes, music, school branding, and much more. iMovie and QuickTime come with MacBooks and are quick and easy tools that can be used to record videos. There's also licenses teachers have access to, like Screencastify, that provide lots of tools to create engaging videos. And lastly, number five, Keep them short. The ideal length of a given video is determined by the content and the target audience. However, try to keep all videos under three minutes in length if possible. If you have a lot of content to cover, it's best to create several shorter videos than one long video for students to watch. These are some of the things that I have found helpful when creating educational videos. Remember, the best way to get better at anything is to just do it. I hope this video was helpful Keep a lookout for our next video in the series of Central Office Video Shorts.